Hey guys, so yesterday I had my second session done on my back tattoo. If you've seen the session one video that I did on YouTube, then you'll know what we did on the first session, which was just the outlines and a bit of dot work um, at the top and in the mandala. On the second session, we did um, like more shading, more dot work. So the flowers have been coloured in, the mandala is um, like dot work and shaded in. Um, and yeah we did a little bit more so I've just got one more session to go and then it'll be finished but it does look amazing I'm so happy with it so the whole tattoo session itself was a whole day um, I was booked in I was actually booked in from like half ten um, but my sat nav in my car took us the completely wrong way so we um, was about half hour late I think um, so yeah sat nav took us completely the wrong way so i ended up being a little bit late um so yeah we started around maybe quarter past 11 for my back tattoo and we finished i think i didn't actually see the actual time but i think it was around maybe like half five ish so um the tattoo session was like between six and six and a half hours but that is including breaks um and we did take a few breaks in between um you know which I don't mind taking breaks because you know it does give me a break from it instead of being like in pain the whole time so yeah um I don't mind taking breaks but yeah six six and a half hours for the tattoo session um and I actually got through it all I didn't think I'd actually get through it all because it did start getting a little bit painful I did use numbing cream um the TKTX numbing cream that I used before um, for the first session um, Last time I used the green tube, but they don't sell that anymore. So I went with the I've, The orange one the gold one um, Which I will put in the description description box below because I know there's a lot of people that are asking for the link for the website and I did actually do a separate video all about the numbing cream and how it worked um, how to apply it how the session went for me like does it work um, and a lot of people commented on the video asking for the link but the link is in the description box um, on the video and I know there's a lot of fakes going around but the website that I get these from is the actual official website so if you want to use the TKTX cream um, the link for the real website will be in the description box below um, so yeah, there's, just be careful because there's a lot of fakes going around and you do get reaction from the fake, fake cream. Um, so yeah, just be careful. So this is the box that it comes in. Um, this is the yellow cream and this is the tube that comes um, in the box. It's like 10 gram tube. Um, and what you do is you unscrew it and you have to pierce the end of it. So you put the lid in and push it down and pierce it. Um, so you know that it's not been opened but yeah this is the official website if I can get to it the official website looks like this so all the rest of the websites are fake but they have all of the creams on here and I just click shop all products and then my one is the yellow cream and then um, it will give you the options of how many you'd like I um, I went for three boxes this time because I have to use a lot of uh, tubes for my back but what for one tube it is ten pound um, three tubes it's twenty five pounds um, so yeah I got the three tubes for the numbing cream which I did actually end up using all of them the first time that I used the numbing cream I think we used three this time we only used two um, I've I don't know why but I should have used three because it didn't last as long as it did the first session and um, some parts of my tattoo did actually become a bit painful especially like the floral bit of the tattoo where the flowers are on the side that was the most painful part of the tattoo the mandala was fine there are like some parts that I could feel on my spine um, and like maybe the outer bit of the mandala but that was fine the top bit of my back in the middle was fine I didn't really feel anything um, but yeah after like so many hours the numbing cream does wear off 
and you do start to feel it the pain but um it definitely worked the first time better than the second time but i will use this for my next session as well um and i will order some more and i will definitely use three tubes next time for my whole back instead of the two um but if you want to see how to apply it then i have done a separate video on how to apply the cream how it works and that so if i will put that in the description box below as well if you want to go and watch that video so like i said when the numbing cream started to wear off it did start to hurt a bit more um, and some parts did hurt more than others and the whole reason that i started using numbing cream for my back was because before i started getting my whole back done i had the top bit of my back done and that really really hurt um and i end up getting tattoo flu as we call it but i felt like i've been hit by a bus and it was so painful during the tattoo session so i decided to go for numbing cream and to be honest i could not do my back tattoo without numbing cream like it's a lifesaver um so yeah after the numbing cream wore off it did start to get a bit painful um yeah back's not fun but people are different i have had tattoos on my shin behind my ear on my arms my legs even this one on my sternum i have here um that didn't really hurt at all but some people it's more painful everyone has different pain tolerances i do have a high pain tolerance apart from my back so the artist that does my um that did my back tattoo and um, also my bum tattoo um was ben billers he worked at base shade tattoo in rushton which is in northamptonshire um it's about an hour 10 minute drive from where i live um but I mean, I don't mind traveling for tattoos. I will also put his Instagram in the description box below if you want to go and check his work out. He does a lot of like floral dot work mandala tattoos. Um, and that's obviously why I went to him for my tattoos because that's the exact style that I was looking for. And for a full day, he charges £350 um, a day. So yeah, that's how much it was for a full day session. And uh, for my next session as well for my third session my back that will also be the same price and yeah my next session we are looking to join the back tattoo with the bottom of the back tattoo and bum tattoo together so it will become like one big piece and he's also looking to do a, like a bit more um like shading like background bits on the back tattoo also so yeah that is what's happening in the next session and i'm really looking forward to it i haven't yet booked in the next tattoo session um i still need to do that um but it might be like next year um because his i think the next weekend that he has is maybe december um but i probably won't be able to do december so it'll probably end up being next year but i'll keep you guys updated with that so i will put in a video now of the back tattoo and what we did and the progress of it um so you can see what it looks like yeah that is how far we've got on my back tattoo and like i said i'm really looking forward to the next tattoo session um and i will also do another video after i've had that done to show you guys what it looks like but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys soon bye bye